But that's it, the wait is over. We have the brand new Kirin 990 chipsets. Chipsets, because there are two of them, a Kirin 990 and a Kirin 990 5G. The 5G version is even an upgrade over the Kirin 990. It uses the latest manufacturing process and has the 5G modem built in to the SOC. So how's the Mate 30 series gonna look like with these processors? That of course is still yet to be confirmed by Huawei, but of course the Huawei Mate 30 non-pro variant is obviously gonna get the 990 chipset, not the 5G version. The 5G version I assume will be put in the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, and that is gonna have a real list of improvements. And Huawei showed off these improvements for video. So because of this new chipset, you can actually take people that you are filming, cut them out of the background that they're in, and then put other backgrounds in their place. It's a very cool feature, and of course it looks good on the promotional video. We'll have to see how that actually works in a real product. But we know Huawei are going all out to produce very good video in the Mate 30 Pro, giving it a brand new main camera sensor, an improved secondary camera, a complete redesign in the hardware department for the Mate 30 Pro camera. It looks like the Kirin 990 will support a lot of improvements too. Huawei also said that the Kirin 990 chipset has seen huge improvements in low light performance for both photo and video. Not that Huawei phones needed any improvements in low light, but it has been improved further apparently. So there'll be much less noise when you're taking photos and videos in low light. No doubt at all, Huawei phones take great images and I'm sure this new chipset will enable even better video and photo. Of course, we'll have to wait and see how this actually translates to real world results in a device. Huawei also showed off a really unique and interesting feature that you can actually take someone's heart rate just by filming their face. Apparently you can just film someone's face and the processor will be able to detect tiny differences in blood flow around someone's face and actually give you their heart rate. But it's a big statement and again, let's just see what that looks like in a real product. And Huawei did say the 19th of September, you will see the Mate 30 series, but they said absolutely nothing about the elephant in the room, which is how is the operating system going to work or be supported? Or will you be able to download Google Apps? Will they have a workaround for that? That is still a huge question that I guess we won't find out until later on in September. And they released a couple of new color variants in the P30 series today. They didn't just update the outer colors of the P30 series though. They said that every P30 and P30 Pro will be receiving camera color science updates. So that is a software update to improve the color science of photos that you take. That's a really good thing and actually makes a huge difference to overall image quality. So well done Huawei on that one. The Kirin chipsets were not the only chipsets that they launched today. They also launched the A1 chipset, which is what they will be putting in wearable devices. It will have Bluetooth 5.1 on board and will be used in smartwatches and earbuds, and it's able to give active noise cancellation up to 15 decibels. Along with that chip, they announced Free Buzz 3, which are brand new Apple AirPod type Bluetooth connected earphones. So it looks like photo and video on the Mate 30 series will be getting improvements from the processor. Couple that with all new hardware that's rumored under the main camera and the ultra wide camera or what they're calling it now to be the cine lens. It looks like the Mate 30 series can get another big leap forward in imaging quality. Of course, if it doesn't have Google, we just don't know how that's gonna sell outside of China. Honor aren't to be left out though. Huawei's sub-brand will be launching the Honor V30, which will apparently be using the 990 chipset. Xiaomi confirmed today that they'll be releasing Mi Charge Turbo on the 9th of September. This is expected to be a big upgrade in their wireless charging technology. Xiaomi are actually one of the leaders in wireless charging technology. They've already got 20 watt fast charging on their flagship Xiaomi Mi 9. And they're actually saying that in the future, wireless charging technology will enable us to charge our phones faster than wired charging. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.